great Wednesday morning, January 27, 2021. To God be the glory for yet another beautiful day. Let me ask you, do you have any fear or anxiety in your heart right now? Do you have any trepidation? Maybe it's because of the vaccine, whether you should take it or not. You're grappling with that decision. Maybe you want to go out and you're hearing about the numbers of carjackings and all this foolishness. Maybe it's the unknown. Maybe you have people in your family or in your workplace who have been diagnosed with COVID-19 or the new strand, or maybe, maybe it's just so much. Psalms 27 is still in effect. It encouraged David back in the day and it still is powerful. The Lord is our light and our salvation. Who shall we fear? Or what shall we fear? Nothing. The Lord is the strength of our life. Of whom shall we be afraid of? I, you know, I'm in the midst of researching graduation songs, you know, for our eighth graders. And uh, a couple of people want to do the song Congratulations, right, by Post Malone. And I'm always one of getting the backstory and learning about someone's life just a little more, delve deeper. And not only we know about his friendship with Justin Bieber and collaborations and all that, but I, I want to know why people create the music they create and what is the story of their life and why do they present themselves the way they do. So, you know, he has like 77 tattoos. We're not in the tattoo chapter yet, so. Mm. But it was so sad, and he had this type of angst when he was growing up. He, he said that in middle school, he would cry absolutely every day waking up. And in high school, he would drink. Oh my goodness. He was so raw, and I appreciate when you can be open like that. Well, in this chapter, the Lord wants us, and we know in Leviticus 7, it talks about all the sacrifices and offerings, the sin offerings, the grain offerings, the burnt offerings. We don't have to do that anymore. But what we want to offer, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, we'll be living, we'll be living temples, sanctuary for the Lord. But in verse 6 of Psalms 27, it says, And now shall my head be lifted up. Right? We, we already spoke about the chapter, the Lord, the King of glory. Lift up your heads. You know, because there's a lot to, to make our heads, you know, lay low. All the depression and all the, the anxiety, all the things that are going on out here. But no, listen, this is, this is the help. Some of us out here, it says lift up, the Lord will lift up our heads above our enemies. The enemies could be sickness. It could be stuff that's going on in the mind or stuff that's around us. And we will be able to offer tabernacles. In our tabernacles, the sacrifice is a joy. I will sing. The Lord wants us to make melody. The Lord, it matters what type of music that we put in our temple. I believe that Post Malone can be used for God's glory. He was in a near death experience twice and he thanked his fans for prayer. So he understands the power of prayer. Oh, let's pray for these young people out here because they're suffering. But God wants to do great things for all of them. All right, Timotheus, did you get anything from Leviticus 7 or Psalms or whatever? Tune in this evening. Tune in this evening. Listen, God has great, you, you know what that says. God has great plans for each one of us. And like I said, Post Malone is not the only one who was suffering. So many inside and then is manifested outside of all ages. He's talking about, I mean, so many 11-year-olds are getting high using the drugs, trying to numb away. Mm -mm. And then we see the foolishness of the carjackings, you know, because they're, they don't have the structure. Listen, we're the ones who have the hope. The Lord will teach us. Yeah, when our father and mother has forsaken us, it says the Lord will take us up. 
So many of the parents are on drugs or they're, they're, they're feeling hopeless. The Lord will take us up. Teach us thy way, O Lord, and lead us in a plain path. Yeah, because the enemy is on our heels. He's on our children. He's, he's on our teenagers' heels. But the Lord is victorious, and he is the one who will save all of them. Ooh, I thank the Lord for his hope. Let's spread that today and know that we are to give the sacrifices of joy as we present our temple to the Lord. No unclean thing we're to touch, and that's in Leviticus 7. But we're going to keep holy, we're going to stay holy, and make sure that what we put into our temple glorifies the Lord so that we, we're not suffering out here. Have a great day trusting in him and glorifying him.